And welcome to the Zulu Homestead, friends. So before I tell you more, let us kindly greet the whole family by saying Sani Bonani. Sani Bonani. Yebo. Yebo, the family is welcoming us. And the hut right there by the corner, number four, it is their kitchen. The name of the kitchen, they call it Ikiba. To identify that, it is the kitchen we identified with the ventilations around in the hut. Remember, long time ago, Mandulo, we use fire to cook. So the ventilation will take off the smoke. And all the villagers, they use one kitchen to prepare their food. And right over here, it is the most respected heart in their village. Their ancestral heart. They call it Inru Yakakoko. That means the grandmother's heart. So Zulus, before they build their hearts, they need to build this one first. And then from there, they need to slaughter a goat. By doing it, they'll be telling their ancestors that they're starting a new homestead in their village. And again, they've decided to build their doors very low for two reasons for protection and to show respect. As an enemy going inside, you as an enemy will enter using your head. And then the person is inside, he'll do what? Chop the head off. <laughs> you happy, you angry, whenever you go inside, you bow. And by bowing, you're showing respect to whoever is inside. Two Zulu ladies, the unmarried one and the married one. That is how we identify the unmarried Zulu lady. By wearing the short skirt with the bright colorful attire. She is carrying what they call ukamba, the clay pot. They use it to fetch water or to drink their sogam beer. They call it um umbo tea. And once the lady is married, we identify in this way. The leather skirt, the figure belt, and the red head. Out of those 11 cows, they need to slaughter one cow to prepare the leather skirt. That will cover the lady's knees to show that now she's no longer single. The name of the leather skirt, we call it Isituaba. And the figure belt, Zulu ladies long time ago, after they've given birth, they used to maintain their tummy back to the normal size using the figure belt. The name of the figure belt is Ifotia. And the right head is Tolo. Long time ago, they would sew the head onto their hair so that it can stay permanently. If it's off, that's a divorce. That is why this is a present from the husband. It's a gigi. During the night, a comfortable pillow for the lady. And during the course of the day, a chair for the husband. So I'm not sure it is still a present or not. <laughs> they are smoking pie. Ikutu. Zulu so warriors, they used to smoke marijuana using this pie. But they were not allowed to smoke in front of their wives and their kids. So they'll go up in the bushes where they will smoke. They'll come home later very, very happy. <laughs> Does that thing work? Yes, even today. Can we try it? Do you have marijuana? Uh, I can get some. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer that question on video. Okay, let's discuss that later. <laughs> right. I'm sure I can find some in the bushes. <laughs> and right over here, this is the skateboard. Original version of the skateboard. See, skateboard, see? Do you see, young man? It's a skateboard. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, this is the original one. Can you use this one? No, I'm just kidding. When this I is the Ahurian Plaza, where they eat. Yeah. <laughs> That's where they eat. Remember, they use one kitchen to prepare their food. So whenever they eat, they eat as a family the spirit of Ubuntu, humanity. Ladies of the village have their own, their husbands along with their kids. And they will use the spoon to dish up. Once they eat, they use their hands. And last one over there, it is their grain storage. They call it Ingolaban. As you can see, there's crops inside there. Zulu ladies, after having some things to eat, they will put them all inside there. And they've decided to elevate it, to keep whatever is inside away from the naughty animals. So now, friends, I'm going to take you to their spear-making area. That is where they make their weapons. But before you do that, let us thank them. Sia Bong. Thank you to go well, not go away. Go well. Okay, follow me this way. Hey, don't take the fight. Don't take the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> there you go.